Good morning, everyone. This is Coach Eddie. Just wanted to work today. A little bit of footwork. We're going to be spending time in uh, lateral movement. A lot of the things that we've been showing you guys has been the ball mastery and side to side and getting out of tight spaces. One of the things that are really important in soccer is that first step, is that quickness of your feet, be able to get your body in the right the right spot, right? So today I have a great guest. I have my son, Nico Carvaccio, who is visiting uh, from school. So much for empty nester. Uh, got our kids back at home, so um, have to readjust uh, once again. But uh, needless to say, uh, Nico, as most of you know, if you don't, uh, Nico played uh, college basketball at Colorado State. Uh, but before he got into basketball, he was a very good soccer player. He still loves the game. And a lot of the things that we do in the summer is to work out uh, in terms of cross training. Uh, he uses a lot of the soccer training to get ready for his basketball season. So again, I thought it was fitting for us today to work on footwork, uh, including a soccer ball as well. So uh, now we can have a little higher intensity and we can start working a little bit more on conditioning uh, with the ball and at the same time, improve the speed of your feet, uh, the quickness of your feet. Really important that whatever you do, do it at the highest level of intensity, because that's what's going to replicate the game itself. All right, Nico, what are going to do? We're going to do a little footwork. We're going to go a little easy, easy shuffle, uh, in and out, actually. And then when we get to the cone at the end, we're just going to sprint to the top. But then on the way back, we're going to turn and we're going to go sideways as if, if we were defending. Now what you can do in this situation is that we can change the actual plyometric or the footwork that in between cones. So Nico, what I want you to do right now is that can we now go little bunny hops, right? So we're gonna go up, 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 and when we get to the first cone, same thing. We just continue to work on that. This is an easy, fast, quick way to get warmed up. Ready, go, play. At this time, could be mom, dad, brother, sister. We're gonna just roll the ball, pass the ball for a touch back. So now we include a little bit of the ball, right? Into the activity. Ready? As he's going to side to side, he's also concentration. Look for the cones, look for the little obstacles that there would be. Alright, what I'm gonna do is just roll it to him. He's gonna take a touch. And use that same foot to pick the ball back to me. Correct, exactly. Here we go. So now we're adding a little bunny hop. Here we go. Something that is important, right? When we, we talk about the first touch a lot in terms of trapping the ball, in terms of playing the ball one touch, a lot of it has to do with your pre positioning, right? Opening the body, get into the, to the, to the right spot in order to have a better first touch. Right. So as we continue to improve the next generation of this, right, simple activity, we're gonna go ahead now and do the same thing, but now this time I'm gonna toss the ball in the air. I want Nico to trap the ball, bring the ball down to the ground, and then make that pass. So the ball coming one touch back to me. So now I wanna stay standing up a little bit right here. And you gotta direct the ball to it. All right, here we go. Ready? Play. Okay, so the next step of what we're trying to accomplish is make sure that the player gets to not always go into the same um, uh, row of cones or the same direction. We want to be able to change that as the play continues, right? So one of the things that I've done is that I've created a separation on the cones. And the other thing that I'm gonna ask Nico is that as soon as he sees me rolling the ball, because I'm gonna do it very softly, I want him to leave the cones and attack the ball and give me one touch. So the next step from this, it would be now having to him to deal with the high ball. Okay, so think about it as a center forward. 
Uh, the ball coming high, you want, we want you to post it, want you to hold the ball, put somebody on you, we need to go in you to leave your original space and move your feet, right? That first step toward the ball. And, but also if you're a center back or a midfielder, it doesn't matter, really, even a goalkeeper, taking that first step and attacking the ball, right? All right, so the next progression from this, it would be the high ball, right? On the first, on the last one, I chose not to have him to come too far off the original uh, distance because I wanted him to work on his touch and work, especially as he's turning around. All right, this time, I'm going to force him to come just a little bit more to attack the ball and having to deal to cover the space a little bit quicker and to make the right decision on which bot, part of his body he's going to use for trap the ball and give it back to me. All right, there you go. Uh, now we're going to have as Nico do a little bit of a push-up, get up, right, and then continue and react for the ball. All of this also, it, it's part of making it fun, right? Uh, we want you as a player to enjoy what you're doing. Um, we've been doing this for about 8, now 15, 20 minutes, and always trying not to... Um, to have a laugh uh, but at the same time when you do the exercise let's commit to it let's make sure we do it with the high intensity as possible anyway i look forward to seeing you guys soon thank you very much stay safe be vigilant we're gonna get through this together thank you